Wow, that was hard. I never knew high-fiving was so violent and satisfying. My hand is a man now. Your hand is a bro. It is? Let's bro again. I told you. I, told, I was like, look, man, folks are tired of getting preached at. Seriously. Yet here you are. Oh, first black, first female, first. Oh, my goodness. Y'all heroes. Oh, all the heroes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. <laughs> The woke commercials, my goodness, I am um, also rather interested in those equalizer ratings, but we'll take what we can get right now. Coming to us from CNBC, Super Bowl post worst viewer rating since 2007. Uh, written by Jabari Young. Oh, what's up, brother? <laughs> Key points. The NFL's 2021 Super Bowl attracted 96.4 million viewers. It's the lowest watched Super Bowl since 2007 when the Indianapolis Colts played the Chicago Bears. Yes, people aren't beat for the shits. Now, the streaming numbers, they say, hey, the greatest streaming numbers ever. Here's the thing about streaming that I don't trust. It's the same thing when it comes to anything that's digital. It's all digital. You, thusly, you can kind of move those numbers any way you so desire. So I'm not really too beat for stream numbers. But as far as, you know, our traditional rating metric, the Nelson ratings. Yeah, it, it was a it was a dud. It was a dud compared to, you know, what I'm saying compared to uh, previous years. Particularly in a year when it's like, when, hey, everybody's stuck at home, right? So those numbers, by all technical accounts, should have been through the roof, okay? But because a lot of folks, quite like myself, just not really interested in in, in all the just fluff and filler and nonsense anymore, tuned out. And shout out to uh, Mersh from... Revenge of the Sis. It's a pretty show, pretty fun show. I'll uh, link. I'll put a link in the description. It's on Monday through Fridays, four to four to six. But they were going over it, and he says, "Yeah, you know, well, why, why not um, take part in the bread and circus? Because the things like the Super Bowl, Fourth of July, like our holidays, are kind of like a hmm, something for the peasants, you know, for the most part. But and then, and then, yeah, yeah, go about, go about shining my shoes." kick rocks <laughs> so he goes uh you know why uh like why do why you know what I'm saying ignore it why uh you know what I'm saying try to ruin it for other people but it's not a matter of ruining it for other people it's a matter of ruining it for the NFL and for these for those who want those numbers to be oh so high and yeah we got them all we, they're all just suckers and really nah no, nah, we're not. The numbers are in, and the National Football League's biggest game of the year during the season of CV failed to drop to top 100 million viewers this year. Super Bowl LV attracted, I know it was like 55, uh, attracted 96.4 million viewers for Viacom CBS on Sunday. The company announced Tuesday as the Tampa Bay Buccaneers beat the Kansas City Chiefs 31-9. It's the lowest watched Super Bowl since 2007 when the Indianapolis Colts played the Chicago Bears, another CBS broadcast. That that game attracted 93.1 million viewers, according to the according to Octagon's media division data provided by CNBC. Now, when it comes to um, the the game itself, uh, Tom Brady, you know, greatest of all time. He, he's when it comes to the quarterback position. I'm not gonna sit there and compare him to other athletes because they play completely different sports. That's pretty stupid to me. But as far as quarterbacks go, as a Jets fan, all due respect, my man. But weirdly enough, the media is just like, oh yeah, well, a white man. That's all white privilege. Look, guys, I don't know how clearly I have to say this, but you know, being decent, being greatness doesn't equate to white supremacy. It doesn't equate to any type of greatness has no color, you know, as well as being terrible. Being terrible has no color, right? Or gender. It doesn't damage your genitalia. So we go over this all the time on the channel, but just for reiteration's sake, guys, yeah, yeah, it's like greatness is greatness. Greatness is just greatness, all right? Super Bowl 50. Uh, 
Research from Nielsen, which handles TV viewership data, responded on Monday afternoon to inquiries about the delay in releasing the information. In a statement to Deadline, the spokesperson said the metrics would include out-of-home OOH numbers. Those numbers represent TVs in places like bars and restaurants and and augment uh, viewership data for the NFL. Even though the overall viewership totals were a disappointment, CBS did tout growth in internet streaming of the Super Bowl. We already went over that. The company said the stream averaged 5.7 million viewers per minute. The game streamed through 5.7 million compared, so thusly, it barely, well, that included, y'all, that's the best y'all could scrounge up because these numbers were technically supposed to be out yesterday, but they were like, yeah, you know, we, we need a minute to scrape together to find a few more, uh, a few more viewers. Just like on election night. <laughs> oh, you got to laugh at it, guys. You got to laugh at it. The game streamed through CBS All Access Service. Later this year, All Access will change to Paramount Plus. Oh, my God. It's just, it's just swag jacking and biting all over the place. Can you please be original? Viacom CBS is a new streaming service that is designed to take on leaders like Netflix and Disney. Plus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By naming your by naming your streaming service the exact same as the competitors. Yeah, wow. You are you are going the way of Quibi. Bucks quarterback Tom Brady continued climbing the NFL record books with his seventh championship and crowned Super Bowl MVP for the fifth time. Brady finished the game with 201 yards on 21 for 29 passing and three touchdowns, including connecting with tight end Rob Ronkowski on two of the scores. But the game wasn't as close as initially projected, despite two dynamic quarterbacks in 43-year-old Brady and the Chiefs, 25-year-old Patrick Mahomes. The Chiefs didn't score a touchdown and were outscored scored 31 to 6 after putting up the game's first points via a field goal. The CBS app has issues during the game which could have had a negative impact on the ratings. Yeah, okay, wow, that's okay. Yeah, dig 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 for those excuses, buddy. <laughs> it wasn't the woke stuff. It wasn't the fact that we've been telling Americans that they're terrible people for the past year and some change all to, you know, get a uh, get get a certain outcome on November 6. You know, you know. Dan Cohen, senior vice president of Octagon's global media rights consulting division, said the film the firm monitored its own audience metrics during Super Bowl 55. <clears throat> Octagon's data showed the game had a material impact on viewership, and because close games hold audiences, viewership likely peaked when the Bucks had a 7-3 lead. Audience numbers dropped as the lopsided score increased, and for the most part, continued to decline through the rest of the game. Oh, man. So, you know, it was just... What about the commercials? See, that's the thing. The commercials is what the normies are there for. Like, they're, like, like the, the reason that the Super Bowl... Um, became like the the phenomenon that it had was because was largely due to the creativity of the commercials and the expensiveness of the commercials, right? And going back to that point when it comes to uh, merch and like why? Well, that's the thing. If there's less people watching, there's less money that they can charge, and that's what feels good. That's the part, guys. That's the part that really feels good about this. Though, so the hey, the less people watching, the less the less people watching, the less money that you be able to uh you be able to demand of you know all your advertisers and partners. It's it, it, it's a direct reflection on the um the waning influence that the sports that the, that our sports media in general has because this is the Super Bowl which does better numbers than any other event when it comes to uh, American sports so yeah 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 you earned this you really did but you know they're sitting there making their excuses this is fun audience members dropped as the lopsided okay this marks the second time in three game three years the game failed to eclipse to 100 million viewers the 2005 game between the new england patriots and the seattle seahawks remains the most watched game with roughly 114 million viewers brady's last super bowl win in 2019 while the patriots generated roughly 98.2 million viewers the lowest since 97.5 million viewers turned into the 2008 super bowl cohen credited the overall production and presentation of the game which included a message from joe biden yeah boo a poem from i don't they um who is okay amanda groman oh i don't know who you are you're the chick that you are a puppet you are a puppet i it's sad it sucks i wish you but you know wish you the best and a performance from musical pop star the weekend all things considered the fact this game got played is nothing short of a miracle cohen added 
Sure. And the fact that you had Brady and Mahomes and the storylines going into it was the NFL's greatest dream. Yeah, yeah. But those uh, those those numbers are a nightmare. Right? For the NFL, those numbers are a nightmare. It really does reflect on the waning influence that, you know, once again, sports in general has. And why it's, oh, man, those NBA final ratings, I'm looking forward, particularly if LeBron makes the game. I'm looking forward to seeing how that uh, how that shakes out. So, guys, just wanted to soak it on in. Uh <laughs> enjoy a just, like that's the thing. It's not about getting a full on W. You know, to truly take down these Goliathan type uh, corporations and the like. But it feels good to take a little chunk out of them, and that's exactly what happens when you know these ratings come back and they're lower than before. Now they have to charge less, and they end up making less money, and that's the point. So, guys, with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like. Dislike. Go ahead. Do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you jump a fantastic voice. You want to get videos like this every single day? Share it because sharing is caring. YouTube. Bitch, you can like. I'm the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from the Teespring. Check me out on Patreon. Actually, go into the description box and go in. Go go nuts. Go bonkers on uh, all the links in the description. And speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? <laughs> this feels good. Like, like it's just, let's soak this in right quick. Because they don't come often so when they do you kind of just gotta you know smile same with the game stocks you just smile at the when 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 the 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 the, the, the boys get one all right let me know what you think in the comments all right and until the next one men we don't know what we did